Do you participate in activities that require specialized supplies and other equipment that you need in order to have your act together at events? I'm going to show you how I made this. It's a box that holds all of my gear and keeps the small parts organized. Plus, it looks pretty cool and it's increased my street cred among science fiction fans. Now, you may not do science fiction, you may do other things, but if you want to increase your snob value among your friends who also participate in your hobbies, you should build one of these. Because the last thing you want to do is show up at an event and look ridiculous. <laughs> We participate in a charity group that dresses up like Star Wars characters. Don't laugh, we're, we're grown-ups. We do a lot of public-facing events, and people love us. I know this is all strange to the uninitiated, but within certain science fiction circles, we're kind of a big deal. We visit kids in hospitals because charity is the primary reason we dress up like this. Children in hospitals don't get out much, so we go to them. This is us taking some happy trick-or-treating to an intensive care unit last Halloween. Charity work like this is fun, and nothing ever goes wrong. When we go to events, we put our costumes in boxes like this. We call them trooping boxes. It holds my helmet, my boots, flight suit, and all the little pieces that go into, in my case, an X-wing suit. Well, the problem is that when you have a box like this and a lot of little parts, you can lose those parts. They can get down to the bottom of the box or they can fall out entirely. And you go to an event, you find out that you're missing a significant piece of your outfit, like your belt or something that's noticeable. So I got tired of going through all my stuff every time to see if I had everything. So what I did was I put an equipment rack on top, open up my box here, and it's got the jumpsuit and everything down below, but up top, all the little parts, are on this equipment rack. Now I can just flip this open. I can see everything I need to see. Yep, it's packed. The rest of the stuff is down here. I'm good to go. I've used this for about three years. And every time I go to an event, people come over and take pictures of this because they like the way it's arranged. And I highly encourage, even if you don't have an X-Wing suit, if you're doing something else, to build yourself a rack like this to hold equipment. This one's done well, but the piece that holds the belt broke and it keeps breaking, keeps falling apart. So I want to build an improved version. Plus, I, there's a few things I want to add from use uh, that I think could make this work better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this backboard with something new that holds the same equipment, but in a better way. The first step is to cut the wood we'll use for the back. Dimensions don't matter because this matches my box and not necessarily yours. Here's the backer board all cut and sanded. There's the chest box for the X-Wing, chest box ring, gloves, comm badge, hey look it lights up, name badge, arm tools that go on the arm piece, and the belt. All this stuff has to be arranged on this board somehow so it won't fall off yet is easy to see with a single glance. I'll put the gloves in the upper left and I'll curve the hose for the chest box around this round tube that I have. The belt falling off was a problem of the previous version of this, so this time the belt will fit inside the tube and will be held in by a strap or something. Also new to this version are plastic boxes to hold smaller items like trading cards and name badges. Next up are the wooden strips that will be used to make the supporting structures and borders that will hold all of these items. This is another example of why you should never throw away scrap. X-Wing pilots carry these things called arm tools in their left shoulder pockets. Some say these are tools the pilots use in the cockpit. Some say they are Star Wars thumb drive equivalents. But in our world, they are aluminum tubes that constantly get lost. To keep my arm tools from wandering off to a galaxy far, far away, I cut out a block of wood and drilled four equidistant holes in it. My four arm tools will slide into the holes and I will be able to visually check to see if they are where they are actually supposed to be. The X-Wing chest box will act as a barrier to the arm tools if they work their way out of their holes. You'll see what I mean by this later. Now it's time to glue the pieces together. The first piece is the glove holder. It's just a strip of wood that supports a small panel. My gloves will be wedged into the space below the panel. Then I add the strips that will form the COM pad support. 
This will also serve as a trading card holder beneath the comp head. You'll see what that looks like later. The chest box tube curves around this cardboard tube I found. The large cardboard tube makes the chest box tube fit on this board, and it provides a great storage place for the belt. At this point, I have no idea how I'm going to make the belt fit, but whatever. The large cardboard tube is glued down, and you can see I've already applied a tab to the right side of it that will hold the tube down on the far right side of the board. Here you can see the chest box, belt, comm badge, and training card box sort of in place. These are the wood strips that will hold the chest box tube in place when it's placed on the board. Next, the chest box and the arm tools are put in place. The paint booth is opened up and ready for use because the woodworking is done and it's time to put primer on this thing. The chest box hose needs a clamp to hold it down, so this angle bracket is cut down to the size we need and a bolt is added to hold the end of the hose. The comm badge is held in place over the trading card holder with a couple of brass strips. The hardware is in place and the entire rack has been primed and is ready for its top coat. It doesn't look like much yet, but when we put the paint and decals on it, it's going to be very useful and it's going to look amazing. And now, I'm going to paint this orange for no apparent reason. Yep, it's orange now. My chest box has a clip on the back that slides onto this metal strip. That's all that's needed to hold the chest box to the board. The belt will be held in its storage tube by a Velcro strap. A Velcro strip on the side of the storage tube completes the strap construction. Then I add decals for my call sign, affiliation, command, base, and squadron. The decals are just images printed on vinyl sticker paper. Then I use Velcro to attach a small parts box. The equipment rack is now complete, so I pull out the old one, and I use screws to attach the new one. It's the same size, so it fits perfectly. Just look at it, all shiny and new. With the rack all completed and mounted, I go ahead and put all of the small parts in. You see it's the same things that the other box had, they're just arranged a little bit better and they should survive movement better than the other box did. Shouldn't fall apart as easily and the belt is now secure. The last step is to get the trooping box and put its lid back on. Then I load up all my X-Wing costume gear. It all fits in the box nice and easy. Just look at this equipment rack. Convenience, practicality, and coolness, all in one small orange package. What's not to like? And finally, the old equipment rack that served me so well for three years is hung on the wall as a warning to others. All kidding aside, if you want to meet interesting new people and go on adventures with them, I cannot say enough good things about volunteering with a charity organization. My family was welcomed into the 501st and Rebel Legions several years ago, and it's been a really fun ride. Hey look, they even gave me my own call sign. It's not often that you find people as weird as you are and that you can share experiences like this with. You should embrace the weird and make friends while you do great things for other people. Join a charity, it's wonderful. If you volunteer, you will meet people from all walks of life, people you probably never would have met otherwise. And you'll do charity work and all sorts of things with them. For example, a bunch of them are coming over here to the house tomorrow for barbecue. I should probably clean this place up. In the future, if you see science fiction people walking around hauling things like this, you'll know what's inside. And you'll know that if they're really cool, they'll have an equipment rack like I do but maybe they're not as cool as I am. I don't know, you'll have to see. But if you like what we do on this channel, uh, we'd love for you to stick around. We're always building things like right here. This is an end table we're building out of wood and metal and plastic and electronic parts. 
pretty cool. It's gonna take me a few weeks to finish it. This is under construction. Over there is a coaster that is portable that goes down to negative 20 degrees. Over there is a soldering station and inside there's some electronics we're working on. So there's always something coming. Sometimes it's sci-fi, sometimes it's furniture, sometimes it's something else. We'd love to have you. So subscribe and ring that bell and you'll see everything we come up with. See you next time, Space Cadets.